Hello, I'm Glorious Liar, and this video is a continuation of my ongoing glitch explanation series. Today I will be explaining how to skip the car race in Creepy Castle, only there's a catch. We're not going to be using Tiny. Normally you need to go around the track twice without missing too many checkpoints. Additionally, you need to collect 10 coins to win the race. The race takes about a minute and a half including the victory cutscene at the end, so being able to skip it is a great triumph. Before I get to the explanation and demonstration, I need to go over a few concepts. First, in DK64, every Kong has 5 golden bananas per level. This includes DK Isles and excludes Hideout Helm. This is the total of 25 golden bananas per level, and multiplied by 8 collectible areas, you get 200 golden bananas. There is an exception in that Tiny gets the 201st banana by visiting Banana Fairy Isle after 20 fairies have been captured with the camera. That said, not every Kong has to collect 5 bananas in a level to get 101%. There are a select few golden bananas in the game that can be collected in an unintended way, and due to the nature of the banana object itself, can be collected with any Kong. A good example of this is the Mill Golden Banana in Fungi Forest. Normally, DK has to pull a series of levers after hitting a switch that start the conveyor belt, and the golden banana is moved outside. A special golden banana object is behind the bars, however, and is in a collectible state regardless of Kong so that it appears nice and visible behind the bars. Due to the ease of getting out of bounds in this area, for instance by clipping on the opposite wall by simply walking through it with an assist from the box pushing you, you can navigate out of bounds to this special banana and collect it. Here's the same trick executed with Chunky instead of DK. <laughs> Collecting another Kong's banana is what we like to call wrong banana, or wrong grab. Another golden banana with that special property is in the seal race in Galleon. This next trick was found by Rai Guy in 2013. Rather than race the seal for the banana, we can use a ledge clip to get in the center platform, push ourselves underwater with the ceiling beneath the ramps, and propel ourselves upward with the buoyant force of the water. Then, we can fly straight into the banana, which is always inside the ship, skipping the race. Here's what the trajectory looks like. Notice that DK's speed oscillates wildly at the base of the ramp, and exiting the ramp at the right moment propels you to a height where you can clip into the ship from above. There's quite little stopping other Kongs from collecting this as well inside the ship. If you clip into the seal race with another Kong, such as performing a swim through walls glitch called swim through vertical walls, or STVW, any Kong can grab this banana. Here's a demonstration of Lanky getting the banana. It's incredibly easy. Every Kong besides DK has a higher speed value while in the boat. The running theory on this is that every Kong had a high boat speed, specifically for Lanky to use during the Puff Toss fight. But when testing the seal race area, it was incredibly easy to clip out of bounds, so the developers dampened DK's speed value alone. Here's a comparison of the two speed values, 8.84 and 12.49 units per frame. The Kongs besides DK move so fast in the boat that they can quite literally just ram themselves into the side of the wall and pass through seamlessly. The banana is collectible, and anyone can grab it. Thank you for bearing with me while I explain some of those other concepts. Now, for the car race skip in Creepy Castle. As we go through the museum in Creepy Castle, Chunky passes by the entrance to the car race. The only catch is that there is a glass pane in a mini monkey tunnel that Chunky cannot normally pass through. However, we have access to a boulder in this room. When Chunky picks up a boulder, the animation pushes him backwards. With his back flat against a wall, it can push him inside it. Now during this process you have to jump or move slightly to regain the ability to drop the boulder. 
but you can repeat the process of picking up the boulder, dropping it, jumping, and picking it up again to get further in the wall until you actually pass through it. Once you're on the other side of the glass pane, you can repeat this trick to get in the car race. A funny quirk of this loading zone is that you actually can carry objects into it, letting you bring along the boulder, which is essential to the skip. The golden banana is stored inside the racetrack, hidden high up inside a box. Similar to the other bananas, it's always collectible by any Kong. However, we're going to need a way to gain height. Luckily, there is some weird collision that can propel you to great heights in this room, including the interaction of hitting the boulder. Here's an example of Tiny interacting with weird collision of the stairs and flying off at great speed. Tiny's Y speed oscillates wildly, and if you eject from the stairs when your velocity goes positive, you can fly into the air. Here's what the trajectory looks like. We will abuse this fact with Chunky in a moment. First, Chunky needs to get out of bounds. By propelling yourself into the boulder from the explosion of the box, Chunky gains enormous vertical speed, enough to clip through the roof and land out of bounds. While going out of bounds, we pass over a floor that has greater height than the racetrack, and we keep its fuller height as we travel around. From here, we can travel around the room in the opposite direction of the slalom so as not to fail the race. clip back and bounce on a piece of weird collision in the hallway by the banana. Chunky's Y speed oscillates here, just like Tiny on the stairs. With enough forward momentum from a running start and exiting the hallway at the right time, Chunky will fly into the air, over the top of the box, and collect the golden banana, which is always there and collectible by Annie Kong. Here's a visualization of the trajectories that Chunky takes to get out of bounds and fly into the banana. Thank you for taking the time to watch the second installation in this glitch explanation series. I intend to keep this series up as I've received a good amount of positive feedback from my last video. If you liked the video, you can let me know in the comments and stay subscribed to see the next installations in the series. I will continue with DK64 videos since I know it best of anything, but I might try my hand at some other Nintendo games. I'll see you next time.